It's been about two hours since I got home from the theater, and I think my heart rate finally is back to normal. It wouldn't really be right to say that 10 Cloverfield Lane is finally out, considering that two months ago, nobody really knew that this movie was gonna be a thing. Going into this movie, I was a little bit worried that I had made a mistake in not recently re-watching the original Cloverfield, basically to be brushed up on everything that happened there, so that I would know how it all ties in here. But it doesn't really tie in. It could be possibly set within the same timeline of events, just in a different place, but you don't need to worry about having seen the original Cloverfield to enjoy this one 100%. And let me just say that if you enjoy the kind of movie that can sort of be a claustrophobic type thriller, but also make you feel really uneasy at times, I think you're really gonna like 10 Cloverfield Lane. This movie really does have your mind just jumping all over the place, wondering just what the hell happened to set all these events in motion? Is it even actually real? Who's got what intentions? And how in the world is it all going to play out? All while feeling, again, very claustrophobic and a lot of feeling of unease. Now, if you've seen the trailer for this movie, you can get a pretty good idea of just what exactly is going on. Three people are in an underground bunker under the presumption that pretty much the world is ending around them, but as long as they're down there, they're pretty much safe and secure from it all. But Mary Elizabeth Winstead's character busts a bottle over John Goodman's head, darts up these stairs, and is unlocking this door, all the while he's yelling to her, don't open that door, you open that door and we're all dead. Obviously, there's a little bit more in play than just that, but that's where sort of the psychological aspect of this comes into play, of wondering just what each character's intentions are, if they have any kind of alliances with one another, and, and what they're going to eventually do for what they believe to be their own well-being. And the way it all pans out is, again, entirely uneasy, pretty claustrophobic, given that it's a relatively small bunker, and freaking intense as hell. If I'm being totally honest, there was a few different parts in this movie that genuinely scared the hell out of me. Like, to the point where I would say this is a borderline horror movie, and a really good one at that. Anyway, I don't want to say much more at the risk of spoilers, but I will say that I really enjoyed this movie. All three acting performances, and yeah, there's pretty much only three actors, but John Gallagher Jr., Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and John Goodman were all fantastic. So that's my thoughts on 10 Cloverfield Lane. If you've also seen the movie, please feel free to start a little discussion in the comments. Would be eager to hear other people's thoughts on where they think this fits in with the other Cloverfield movie, if at all. I got a little bit of my own theory on that too. Uh, if you like the video, please hit it with the like button. I always appreciate that. Subscribe if you want more videos like this one. But above all else, everybody, thanks so much for watching.